All right, we're just going to jump in here real quick into the survey builder in Go High Level. So what we're looking at here is the new layout. Uh, a little bit of a different layout than the old one. Uh, not too hard to pick up here. Uh, I'm going to navigate over to Sites on the left side, and then that's going to bring me up to my Survey tab. Uh, we got a couple different areas here. Uh, if we start to get surveys and we go to Submissions, that's going to show us uh, a list of people that have filled out our surveys. Analyze is a really cool tool as well. We'll get into that. Uh, that will actually show you kind of a barcode type chart based upon the surveys that you have coming in. So really cool. Uh, so what we have here is just a template trial account that I'm in. I don't have any surveys. I'm just going to click this button over here, click Create New Survey. You'll notice I've got a little branding down here. You may or may not want that. We'll get into how to remove that. Uh, first thing we're probably going to want to do is you'll notice that I clicked on the screen here to toggle this menu over here. Uh, kind of an interesting use on the interface. Why don't we go over to Options, though, and you can see Survey Name. This is going to be the first survey. So let's just call this My First Survey. And then we can always scroll down here to this blue button and hit Save Survey. Uh, let's start with some of the options on the Options menu. So these are some pretty cool choices. So On Submit, you've got two options. So after somebody fills out the survey and they click Submit, what do you want to do? You've got the option to show them a message or send them to a URL. So maybe you want to send them to a calendar booking. Maybe you want to send them to your website. Uh, you can see right now it's set up to, to display a message. Uh, if there's a reason for them to be disqualified, it would show this message. Here's a couple different survey options. So these are your chances to kind of reroute the people to a website or create some sort of message to show them. For now, let's just focus on naming. Uh, let's head over to Styles kind of go backwards through this list. Uh, let's see what happens when I turn show label off. Not 100% sure what that is. Uh, let's scroll down here to agency branding. Let's go ahead and turn that off. So you'll notice that's the little icon uh, for your agency. Uh, and then if you want to put a background image in there, something like that, you can upload an image right here. Uh, if you want to mess with any of the style stuff, or if you, if you know how to mess with these properties, feel free to certainly dive into it. Uh, let's go over to Fields now. And so these are all our standard fields to put on the survey. In terms of building the survey, it's just a drag and drop situation. So easy to deal with, easy to kind of jump into. So you can see I'm quickly building uh, a survey. Let's go ahead and throw address on here, city. So you can see I put that one there, so it's easily drag and drop. So here's what I'm talking about. Notice this is toggled now for this variable. I'm clicking right here in the middle of the screen. So small detail there, but it will drive you a little bit crazy if you don't understand the navigation. So notice there's a star next to phone and email. Why are those starred? So that indicates the presence of a required field. So if I just click on this variable here, first name, I can decide if I want to make it a required variable or not. If I want to edit the description here of the variable name, I can. I wouldn't recommend it here. If you want to make a custom variable, we'll get into that later. Uh, for now, let's just make all of the fields required. So traditionally, we're going to want to have required fields on our survey. We're not asking these questions uh, to see if they want to answer the information or not. We're traditionally asking this information uh, because we need the information. So let's say that that's all of our basic fields. Let's say we have a couple custom fields. So if we come over here to custom fields, notice here I'm on the standard menu. There's another button here. So that button might not show up unless you scroll up to the top here. So click custom fields, then add custom field. This is going to show us our different variable types. All of the variables are formatted kind of by a data type. So text would just be one line of code. Large text is going to be a bigger box of code. Numerical would force a uh, number input. Phone would be formatted for phone number. Monetary would be money. Uh, checkbox, you know, you kind of get it here. You can kind of go through here. Multiple options would be a drop down. Uh, let's just click on this one right now, large text, and let's go tell us about your experience. Uh, placeholder is, this is going to be what does it recommend? Or what does it show on the screen? So this is kind of another way to prompt somebody to fill something out. Uh, so tell us about your experience. And you can see I did not spell. 
So boom. So we're going to hit save. And then it's not going to add that to your survey. It's going to create the variable over here that you're then going to drag over. And then, of course, we're going to click on it, and we're going to decide that we want to make it a required field. And again, I'm going to click in the middle over here, not on the survey, not on the toolbar, but in the middle here to kind of toggle this. So then I can go back to my standard variables and then my custom variables. Uh, let's say that we want to create a drop-down one, so multiple options. Uh, are you ready to get started right away, perhaps? So I yes or no. So again, kind of telling them what to do. So then decide the order of the variables. Yes, no, save. So perfect. Let's drag and drop this over. Excellent. Now we've got an indicator here. And the cool thing is we can use these responses for the automation. So the real great reason to choose a multiple choice variable is because now you can take automation choices from them filling in that field. Uh, it's hard, almost impossible, to automate the, the, the field that says, tell us about your experience. That's not really an automatable field. But we can clearly automate, did they say yes or no to this question? So something to keep in mind, uh, arbitrary requests for information are not as good traditionally with a survey as uh, requests for information where you know kind of a range of answers. You can do business off of your range of answers. Uh, this is pretty basic survey here. We're going to hit this blue button down here to save the survey. Hit the green button if you want to see the survey in action. It says integrate survey. Let's just click on the link right here, and let's just click right here to open the link. So what's our survey going to look like? Okay. So we could put a header on the survey here, or depending if we're going to embed this into a funnel, we may choose to have our graphics on the funnel and not necessarily on the survey level. So the cool thing here is this is working and it's real time. You could provide this link to somebody, and this link would work to access this survey. Uh, if we embedded this survey into a funnel, we could then make a custom domain and then forward that funnel. So we'll jump into a video on kind of how to take this survey to the next level after this. purpose of this video was just kind of to quickly jump in here and show you the basics of making a survey. A uh, ton of stuff that can be done after this. ton of analytics here if we come to survey and analyze. You can see I don't have any data in here, so a little bit of a bummer. Same thing for survey submissions. This is an easy way to access all of your data. So if you've got a ton of surveys coming in, there's a pretty easy way to get the data to pop right out of here. So this was kind of the, a short video. I think we've got everything. Here's the survey. Tons of ways to continue to customize this. Uh, sky's the limit.